let's take a look at all of the incredible things that might be going on in your mind all at the same time. Let's start with the five senses. All through the day, your mind notices stuff through sight, smell, taste, touch, and hearing. Sometimes we can notice it really powerfully, like that delicious smell of popcorn at the movies as it wafts past your nose. We can also choose to notice something through our senses, even if it's not that strong. For example, right now, I can get your mind to notice the feeling of your foot inside your shoe. I just made your mind do that. No magic needed. How about trying to notice a sound you can hear? I bet you can hear lots of stuff. Maybe noise outside the room, like people talking, music or traffic. Maybe sounds inside the room, like the soft buzzing from the air conditioner unit. You might have noticed these things before I suggested it, or maybe not. Sometimes we can hear things without actually paying attention to them, but the sounds continue and you can definitely hear them. Sometimes you pay the sounds lots of attention and sometimes you barely notice them as they buzz along in the background. Now our minds also have a bunch of other stuff swirling around. We have thoughts coming and going through our mind all day, every day. We also have memories in there. We have feelings, ideas, urges. All of these things are rolling about in our mind all day, every day. Can you imagine how crazy life would be if we paid attention to all of these things all at the same time? Pretty exhausting. So the mind focuses on just a few things at a time. It's a little bit like having a torch pointing at your brain. Remember when I told you to notice the feeling of your foot inside your shoe? I was getting your mind torch to shine brightly on touch. You were really noticing touch in your foot in that moment. But did you notice that something else happened? All of the other stuff in your mind got a bit quieter. Whenever the torch shines too brightly on one part of the brain, it's hard to notice the other things in there. Sometimes the torch shines really brightly on a part of the brain that can make us feel pretty awful. Feelings can be particularly powerful like this. Have you ever noticed when you feel really sad, it's hard to think about or feel anything else? In fact, the thoughts and feelings are actually related. Imagine that you have a strong, angry feeling towards your brother. The torch would shine brightly on feeling angry, but it would also shine brightly on some thoughts such as, that's so unfair, he's so mean, or why does mum always take his side? How about when you're feeling worried? That torch would shine on feeling worried, and then it would also shine brightly on worry thoughts. When the torch shines in this way, life can get pretty dreadful. And the stronger the torch shines on these difficult thoughts and feelings, the brighter they seem to get. I don't know about you, but when this happens to me, it ends up being a pretty horrible day and I can't seem to get on with anything that I'd really like to do. But it doesn't have to be that way. We actually have the power to dim the torch so it's a little less bright and share the light across other parts of the brain. In fact, we can even choose to move the torch to something entirely different in our mind, like one of the five senses. Let's try it. Can you notice three blue things right now? I'm guessing your mind's torch just moved over to sight. Using the five senses to notice different stuff doesn't get rid of the difficult thoughts or feelings, but it does make them quieter and easier to handle. We might still feel a bit worried, but if we choose to take control of the torch, we can choose where our attention is most useful. Then we have a much better chance of getting on with our day and doing the stuff that's important. There's nothing we can do to stop all of the uncomfortable thoughts and feelings arriving in the first place. It's just what they do. They come and go all day long. But when we decide where to shine the torch, we get to spend so much more time 
on the stuff that truly matters.